Hey there everyone, welcome to Pilot School. Let's take a look at all of the pilot ordnance options available to you in Titanfall 2. Let's start off with the basics, frag grenades. If you've ever picked up a controller before, you probably already know exactly how these work. Press and hold your ordnance button to cook the grenade, so it detonates sooner after you finally release it. Use this tactic to take down enemy pilots without ever giving them a chance to fire a shot at you, let alone even see you. Your range with these grenades isn't stellar, so don't expect to be fragging people from across the map. Position yourself intelligently, engage quickly, and frag grenades will be your best friend. Next we have the ubiquitous arc grenades. If you're ever unsure about which ordnance to use, the arc grenades are never a bad choice. Upon being thrown, arc grenades arm immediately and detonate as soon as they hit a surface, or on a timer if they've been airborne for too long. Anyone hit by an arc grenade will take a small amount of damage, have their movement speed slowed to a crawl, and their turning speed will also be slowed dramatically. Use this grenade to disable enemy pilots and titans for a short period of time in order to better your positioning, or to simply deal that last bit of damage that you need after they cowardly run and hide behind cover. The electric smoke grenade is very different than any other grenade currently available in Titanfall 2. This one can actually be used both offensively and defensively. Throw it into a group of enemies to force them to scatter or die, throw it at a pilot hiding behind the amped wall tactical ability to push her off of it, or plant it in a choke point to prevent enemies from seeing you move through it. The choice is yours. No matter what situation you find yourself in, the electric smoke grenade can always be used practically and effectively. The Fire Star, on the other hand, is a little bit less ubiquitous in its use. Its main draw is that it burns through enemy minions fast and deals good, consistent damage to enemy titans. In addition, if you manage to land this directly on top of the cockpit of an enemy titan, it'll make it very difficult for that pilot to actually see out of his titan. The fire and thermite coming out of this uh, ordinance actually obscures their vision and makes it very difficult to see. I know I had a few players complaining to me about that whenever I did it to them, so very, very powerful stuff. The Gravity Star is by far the most unique of all pilot ordnance options available to you. Meant to be combined with your pilot weapons, the possibilities with this ordnance are nearly endless. At its most basic level, you can use it to suck in pilots, minions, or whatever your heart may desire that isn't the Titan itself in order to lay into all of them in one fell swoop gunfire. Finally, we have Satchel Charges. One tap of the ordnance button tosses a large explosive device straight ahead of you. The satchel that you've thrown has a short arming period before it may be detonated. Because of this, it's not an ordnance that you generally want to use in the middle of a gunfight against a skilled enemy pilot. Once the arming period of your satchel has ended, the same button you use to fire your weapon will detonate the satchel charge. Titans, if stuck directly with one or two of these, will take heavy damage as well. That'll be all for today, pilots. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you've learned something new. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.